this thing on? Yeah. Alright, uh, usually I don't make videos like this, but I think it's time we talk about it. I'll be honest, I've struggled with depression, anxiety, two things that weren't beneficial like drugs, alcohol, other desires that, let's be honest, were not worth it. And then I started reading back into the Bible. And verse that stuck out to me was Psalms 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. There's other verses in the Bible. But I think it's honestly those who are going through mental health, they need to go back to the Bible and read God's word because there's great comfort in it despite what the world tells us. I mean, I'm hoping I'm on a road for a better path mentally. I mean, I'm trying to grow as a person and trying to grow mentally past this because I'll be honest, some days it's harder than others, but we all have our struggles that we deal with deep down. We just don't want to talk about it. But I think that's what gives us great strength. Because not everyone wants to talk about their issues. The real things that we need to address. Rather than just put them aside. I feel like all is fine. Because at the end of the day. We know it's not and eventually it can eat us alive. Now I don't say this to bombard people with religion. I do think it is important for people to address mental health. Because a lot of us go through it. But we can't talk to anyone. Because we're scared what other people are going to say. I just want people to know. It's fine to talk about it. Just gotta go to people who trust me. I went to the Bible. That's what worked for me. And I think that's the only thing that works. But everyone has their own opinions on life. I can't change anyone's opinion, obviously. I mean, I've had people in my life, too, who've helped me through this. They've listened. They've helped me. They've encouraged me. Because I was down a really bad path originally. But come out on top of it. It's a lot of work. I still wouldn't say I'm fully 100%. But every day I strive to be better. Every day I try to be motivated to do things versus just giving into the depression and letting it eat me alive. It's not easy to deal with. I know some people just some days can't even get out of bed because of how down they are or how bad they're spiraling. At the end of the day, we are not it enough ourselves we're not enough because we are fallen and broken by nature people should realize that we gotta give our concerns to god rather than thinking we're enough or other people can fill in that void because it doesn't work like that i know this is different from my usual videos like i said i, I think this need to be discussed at least for me as a person i need to get this out there to help me mentally i will be honest there are days where i struggle to do anything that's why i don't upload all the time it's hard for me to find that motivation in life to keep going people have this tendency to say words that they don't know what damages they will cause. You can either bring someone down or build someone up with your words. And people need to be more mindful of that. You never know what words you could say could set someone over the edge to doing something that you never thought they would do. People have their breaking points. We're all human at the end of the day. We all have our daily struggles or fights that we go in day in and day out with. Whether we admit it to people or not. Maybe I'm just talking to no one. Maybe I'm just rambling. But I want people to know that. I'm gonna be honest, I thought the thing I was doing was gonna resolve my issues, the drinking would solve my issues, the other things I was doing would solve my issues, but it just made it worse. It's a never ending cycle. I want our people to realize that versus repeating what I did. It wasn't fun, wasn't all that I was made out to be. At the end of the day it just does more damage to you. There's nothing wrong with talking to our people about your issues, mentally, physically, whatever. At the end of the day, you just need to talk to people you can trust. There are people who will support you out there. I had to learn that the hard way. I went two years straight where I was dealing with this stuff on my own and trying to figure it all out. And then finally, third, I started to realize things, made changes in my life, and things have been getting better. It doesn't happen overnight. It could take years. It could take months. Just don't stop fighting. Don't give up. At the end of the day, you are special. You are unique in your own way, whether you realize it or not. We all have our own abilities. Don't wear this mask for the fun of it. I wear it because it shields the emotions that are behind it. To me, it's like a helmet that I take to battle every day. To me, this is a sign of me fighting day in and day out to keep going, not giving up. You gotta keep fighting the good fight. Now, I know a lot of people probably won't see this or care, but even if I'm doing it for myself or just that one individual who's on the tail end of the decisions that they're gonna make, just want them to hear it. Those last words you can say to someone can change their life dramatically, whether it be good for the good or worse. They were all human beings. We all have feelings and emotions. I just don't want people to go through what I went through. It's not pleasant. It's not fun. It's hard. Even harder when you don't have friends or people you can go to. I get it. Play out.